We are just a few hours away from the longshoreman strike expected to happen at midnight. Now, this includes the Port of Houston and 36 other ports along the Gulf and up the East Coast all the way to Maine. Now, just hours ago, we learned that both sides have moved from their previous positions and at least exchanged wage offers. A glimmer of hope, perhaps, but still at this hour, no deal. So here's what's happening. The International Longshoremen's Association represents 45,000 dock workers and the U.S. Maritime Alliance represents shippers and ports. The contract between the two sides will expire in less than three hours and dock workers are ready to walk off the job. At issue, pay increases and in automation. Dock workers are concerned foreign companies that operate the marine terminals are seeking to replace them with machines. Once a strike begins, it could take until November to work, a, work through that backlog of a one-week walkout, while a two-week strike could be felt into next year. And the ports coming to a halt could affect you at home. Fox 26's Abigail Dye joining us live from the Port of Houston with a look at the impacts to consumers. Anthony, this deadline is creeping up, and this strike, it is historic. And depending on how long it does go on, we could feel impacts in multiple different places, the grocery stores, retail, and ultimately our wallets. 45,000 dock workers from Maine down to Houston plan to walk off the docks, halting container imports and exports. A historic strike, the magnitude some experts have never seen. Never in my life. In my mind, the only thing closest to this was COVID, and really, COVID didn't close down the world's ports. The impact on the U.S. economy could be huge. You know, for every day, anything from 500 million to a couple of billion, uh, but that's direct impact. I mean, how do you measure the indirect impact? But what does it mean for you? I think the immediate effect um, will be minimal. Um, the issue is if this becomes a prolonged work stoppage. And if that's the case, um, you'll have inflationary pressure. I mean, it's basic supply and demand. The ships affected are container ships, so they don't carry gas. This won't have any impact on the uh, petrochemical industry or, or any of that. But they do carry a lot of the things that you use at home. All kinds of retail goods, um, appliances, um, construction materials, um, and food. And so I think, you know, where would consumers first be impacted? It would be fresh fruits and vegetables that we import from Central and South America. So we could see a shortage on fruits and vegetables, a shortage on imported beer, wines and cheeses and possible inflation effects as well as possible shipping delays. You know, I think um, domestic mail service probably isn't going to be impacted, but if you're ordering something online and it hasn't been shipped from China or Europe or India, um, the chances of it being delayed are, are quite high. And of course, all of these domino effects, they depend on if this strike happens tonight and how long it lasts. Many have been calling on the Biden administration to step in and do something about it. But at this point, he says that he won't. So we're just going to have to see what happens within the next few hours and within the coming weeks. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News. Abigail, thanks. And earlier today, business reporter Tom Ziska and I really went in depth on this issue, going over the impact of this potential strike. We spoke to several economists to get their perspective as well. Now, you can watch that discussion over on our Fox local app. You can download that if you haven't already on your smart TV.